Fluoride varnish is an easy, safe, and effective way to protect children's teeth from dental caries. The American Academy of Pediatrics and the United States Preventive Service Task Force now recommend fluoride varnish applications every three to six months for all children ages six months to five years as a part of a well-child visit. The whole process takes less than a minute. Either a medical assistant, nurse, or healthcare provider can apply the varnish. You will need gloves, gauze, and the fluoride varnish single unit vial with its brush. After washing hands, put your clean gloves on, which do not need to be sterile. You can put a small amount of the varnish on top of your non-dominant gloved hand. For infants and toddlers, the knee-to-knee -knee position is very effective. The parent or caregiver holds the child facing her with the child's knees at either side of their waist. The child's head rests on your lap and the parent or caregiver can gently hold the child's arms. If the child cries, as many will, this will actually help open the mouth. Use the gauze to dry excessive saliva from the tooth surface before painting the varnish. It is okay if some saliva is still there as the saliva fixes the varnish to the tooth surface. Paint all the surfaces of the teeth, both the front and back of each tooth, and be sure to paint the chewing surfaces of molars. Most providers apply the varnish in quadrants to be sure to paint all teeth that are present. In children two years and older, who typically have 20 teeth, start with the left upper back, then move down to the lower left, then lower right, then upper back, and finally, the front, upper, and lower teeth. Most varnish comes with a yellow tint, so you can keep track of where you've already applied it. You only need to apply a thin coat of the varnish, and you don't need to use all the varnish provided. That's it. Tell the caregiver that the child can eat and drink warmer cold liquids and soft foods right away. Avoid sticky, crunchy foods and hot liquids for 24 hours. Don't brush or floss until the next day. The slight yellow discoloration of the teeth will come off with the next tooth brushing. The child should be referred to a dental home for regular visits where varnish can be applied at each six month visit. If the child is high risk for caries, the medical provider can apply varnish alternating with the dental provider as these children should receive fluoride varnish every three months to prevent caries. Please visit the Minnesota Oral Health Coalition website for parent instructions in different languages, up-to-date information on billing, and other information related to fluoride varnish.